Step two is to softly repeat a single love and logic one-liner. Like, I love you too much to argue, or I know, or how sad. And one of the keys is you have to kind of sing it, because you can't yell at somebody when you're singing. Right? So you need to say it, and you need to say it in a sincerely empathetic, caring kind of way. Like, that is so sad, or I know, um, probably so, or what did I say? And we just repeat that over and over. And basically what that means is, the code for that is, I'm done arguing, I'm done explaining, the wall has come down. You know, like I've said what I said, I'm not going to repeat it, the wall has come slamming down. But instead of it being this rigid, tough wall that makes kids want to slam into it and test the limits, it sounds very loving. <coughs> and I remember one time when Palmer was... He was probably about 9 or 10. He was about this tall. And I remember I was in the kitchen with him, and I forgot my skills, and I was arguing with him. So we're standing in the kitchen. I remember I was standing like I was physically kind of like this. I was doing everything I teach you not to do, and I'm arguing with him, and I'm trying to convince him and get him to understand what I'm trying to explain. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, what am I doing? And I said, Palmer, I love you too much to argue. And he went, oh. And he turned around and he walked away because he knew, he's been hearing this long enough, that he knew mom had remembered her skills, the wall had come slamming down, and it was over. <laughs>